These are the top five companies that should be scared by Google right now. Google showed off a ton of new things at Google I.O. 2018. Some of those things should make other companies a little worried. Let's see who should be freaking out. At number five is Samsung. Phones from Motorola, Sony, Nokia, OnePlus, Asus, and of course Google will have Google Lens accessible in their default camera apps. Samsung is sticking with its Bixby Vision feature, which to put it mildly, is not as advanced as it could be. Samsung is a beast when it comes to the smartphone market, so maybe its panic level should be minor. That, and you can still access Google Lens through Assistant or Google Photos on Samsung phones. Coming in at number four is Facebook. That company is trying to figure out how to gather data without ticking off its users. Google, on the other hand, showed off a world where you want Google services to know everything about you. Then there's Google's advances in AI like Duplex. Facebook's been trying to figure out AI for a while. Is Google's AI any good? It sounded good at the presentation, so Facebook should be a bit troubled. Number three is Apple. The first preview of Android P didn't seem that interesting, but the beta preview is a different story. The P in Android P may as well stand for predictive. Android P will be learning your usage patterns and offer you apps and actions based on that data. iOS has had proactive features for a while, but Google's leveraging its vast knowledge in artificial intelligence. If one phone essentially knows you better than another, it may be a reason to choose Android over iOS. Number two, Yelp. Google Maps is already smart. The upcoming version, as they say in Boston, is wicked smart. Google Maps is adding a tab called For You. There, you will see recommendations for places to go. Google is using machine learning to make sure the recommendations are tailored to you. You'll see a score called Your Match, and when you tap on it, you'll see why it was recommended to you in the first place. Apps like Yelp that are based on a bunch of reviews are very useful, but it's easy to see a world where Yelp sits in a state of disuse on your phone because of maps. And the number one company that should be freaking out right now is Amazon. Let's talk about Duplex. That's the technology that is a part of Assistant that can eerily mimic a human in a conversation. Just take a listen. So how can I help you? Hi, I'm calling to book a women's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Can Alexa do that? That duplex demo also shows how good Google Assistant can be with natural language instead of using keywords. Google's catching up to Amazon Alexa on other fronts. Assistant will be able to handle multiple requests at once. It's also getting a continued conversation mode where you don't have to keep using the wake word to get Assistant to pay attention. Then there are smart displays from third parties which directly compete with the Echo Show. We knew of these back at CES, but now we know smart displays are rolling out in July. Sorry, Amazon. That does it for us. Did I miss a company? Let me know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.